Hello everybody, welcome to this new episode. Well, actually it is not a new, it is just a remake of a video that I uploaded yesterday on Talent ETL. Well, what happened is the video is, um, something went wrong and I don't have audio there. So I can do two things. I can voice over it or I can make it a game from scratch. So I think I'm going to opt for the second option to make it from scratch. So maybe, hopefully, I can make it this time better. So I'm, <coughs> by the way, the video I was talking about this one, how to build a sub client inside a talent job. So what I'm going to do for this video is, I already have a route built in talent is, um, is big. I'm going to use that route in order to <coughs> pardon me in order to mock the service response that I need for the swap to work so let's get started I have my I need to use also I will start by creating swap client here in the um, in the swap UI I need it because I need to know the exact um, request Okay, my talent is up and running, so let's take a look at the routes. So I have a route somewhere here. Mm, I guess it's this say hello, say hello route, <coughs> route. Let's take a look if this is the, it's taking a little long. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. Things are kind of like slow in my system today, so uh, here it is. So I'm going to start this route just to make sure that it is the one that I want. It will give us a deployment point once this route is running. So again, this is what I'm going to do. Um, first of all, I have built this route. In fact, I think I explained before how to build that route right here on the talent ESB how to implement swap service which is yeah this is exactly what I did in this in this tutorial and, um, so now I have this swap service here I need an endpoint but I also need the the whistle file which I used to create this one so I can do that by just checking out here where is my whistle file so I'm going to use the exact same whistle file in order to create my my SOAP UI project so the SOAP UI project will tell me exactly how to use the service so in the SOAP UI I will just pass here let's just leave it like that so now we have this say hello request and if I go over here, the only thing I need to do is to change the endpoint. So I will grab my endpoint from here, exactly here. I will paste it here or replace with the other one. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not what I want. <coughs> so I copy this, paste it right here, and I will pass here a name. I will send a name let's say Andres and the service response with saying just hi Andres it's a very dummy um, service but it's just to prove the concept of how to use uh, both uh, soap, uh, soap client, soap service and all integrated in the same platform Talent ESB for the soap client uh, service and talent ETL for the SOPS client. So having uh, <coughs> having that uh, ready, now I know what is the request that I need and what is the response that I will be getting. That's something very important that I need in order to start developing the job, the talent job on the talent ETL <coughs> side. So then I have to go here on talent ETL. I can leave this route running I will create here um, a client, right? 
so it's gonna be soap client job let's call it like this the soap client job so the first thing that we need to do um, since we are going to send names uh, to the soap service I will use a T row generator a row generator and this to teach the t, t excuse me <laughs> this t row generator uh, will generate names so i will call that column just simply name and i will choose from these functions and i will find one that will give me a name a bunch of them so we have here get first name it's very good that's what i need I'm not gonna do 100 names now because I want to test some little things first before I I really exploit it with a lot of data. So that is the thing that we need. And the next thing that I need is a TXML map component. I'm gonna use a TXML map and I'm going to connect these two just like that. So the names will be generated here they enter the map from the map I need to call the service the soap so I need a T soap component here this T soap component I just have to uh, right click on the component row main and bring it to the map so after that what I need to do is I need to know what is the response that I'm getting in order to do the extraction so first I need to make clear that the response is getting the way I expect it and then I will do the extraction. So I'm going to use a T row Java here or T Java row, yeah. And then I will connect this map. I will, I will call this uh, response. So, and finally, I will also use another T-Log component, which this is just to mark the end of the of this job. So, uh, now I can start configuring my components. Let's take a look at the TXML map. What do we got here? So, we have the name entering through row 1, and then we have the lookup row 2, which is um, the service request, the client, SOAP, SOAP client, SOIP client, and then we have this is the response that we're getting from the client. We're getting it in the form of a header, a body, and a fault. So I am interested in passing the body through because in the body we have the response. If you look at this one here, we have the SOAP, uh, SOAP and body and here inside the body we have the response I'm oh, sorry I'm looking at the body here this is where we need right and we need to extract this little response here so then I will start by passing the body all the way through the next um, part here I also now that we are here I will also configure this component here so that I can pass this name to the service so the way that I'm going to do that is just by uh, uh, clicking here on the TXML, TXML map settings once click on the load once once and switch to reload at once then click once on the match model all rows and then it will display this little thing here the global map key i will just click on the plus sign and here i will define this variable this parameter i will give it a name a simple name which is just name <laughs> and finally i will just wrap this name from the one that i'm getting from the t generator row generator and i will just grab drag and drop it right here so I have now this connection so what it means is the names are be uh, are going to enter through the row one this block here 
and each time I get a name it will reload at this row and it will make the call to the service so now I can close this part we are done at this side <coughs> and what I need to do now is to configure the soap component well the soap component is quite simple straightforward it, it asks me a, an endpoint I will give it an endpoint which I already have here copy that endpoint paste it here and the other thing that is asking me is a soap message the payload what I'm we're going to send to that so this is the message that I need to send to that service so I copy this I copy this and I might need to use some um, let's grab some some editor so I can just easily um, get rid of the of the quotes uh, the quotes, 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 replace so I need to just uh, escape the quotes once I escape the quotes I go back to my talent view and I'm pasted between those closed quotes and the only thing that I need to change here is add my um, yeah my I grab this variable that I defined inside the TXML map so the way I do that is I just start by casting the global map and then get from the global map a name a variable called name so I will make sure that every time I send a different name to that guy so now that we have that I will go back to this component here the T Java row double click on it and I will synchronize that's correct let's take a look at the schema we have some column called body that is entering here I want to just print that column I want to know I want to see what is in there system out print a len and here I'm going to put the input row dot body so that's one what I'm going to print out and next I just synchronize this T log row save everything and run I'll run this job right now and see what we're gonna get it's connected it made a call there's the second call here right now it sent a name called my name a guy it's white and this is what we're getting as response so now I know that I'm getting the response that I want the next thing I want to do is I want to extract this I want to extract this from the from the response because I might want to do something different it might not be just a simple high whatever it might be a very complex calculation that I need to integrate somehow in my design but for now I will just remove this again and I will use the t-extract t-extract fill and I will just co 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 connect this and let me just connect this guy here So from here, I will just synchronize, make sure I synchronize everything OK. And let me see what I want to get. I want to get the greeting, right? Greeting was the name that I wanted to get. And it is here. This is that greeting part. So I need to add here maybe some little expat expression that should do I think and then finally it should then appear I'm just gonna let's see it's 
take a look it's building and nothing happened right actually um, it didn't let's try to put it as a table but it ran it should have three by now yeah that's correct that was with runner the thing is that at the extraction I didn't see the extraction playing out so oh no by the way I, it was there I couldn't see it okay I do it again so yes that's the extraction as um, shown here why because it is just extracting the the, the right reading from outside of the response coming from this component so if I take here and uh, and I make it let's say by 100 then we have all those responses coming and the mock-up service the route that we made now it has the 104 responses it provide so again this is a simple implementation I haven't um, treated yet like what to do with the error there's a lot of things that we could do with this we should also analyze the fault message and do act accordingly if there's a fault and the headers and stuff uh, but it's just a basic uh, mock-up or proof of concept how these um, things work in talent ESB and ETL so I hope this one went well with audio and everything and I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching see you next time cheers